Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update video. Now this is one where it's more of just, I noticed something, I'm not sure exactly if it's news or what exactly it means, but let's start the conversation here by going over this sort of uh, titling change that has seemingly happened to the Kyoshi novels. So I noticed this because I often check Edelweiss just to see if like any new books happen to get announced, if any dates happen to change. So I check Edelweiss quite often and I just happen to notice that what has always been the sort of furthest off release for a while on Edelweiss has been the paperback release of The Rise of Kyoshi. And I was just reading it there and it was just like, The Rise of Kyoshi brackets Chronicles of the Avatar book one. Wait, has the series ever been referred to before as the as Chronicles of the Avatar? Uh, I just completely had this moment of like, wait, I've, I've never heard that before, have I? And I had to go back and sort of check. And what's interesting is that if you scroll down and go to um, stuff, like you have the Kyoshi Novels box set, which to me sort of made it clear that the two books together as a series are called the Kyoshi Novels. Because if you look at the box set itself, it even says it there on the spine, Avatar The Last Airbender, the Kyoshi novels. That's what they're referring to the two of them together as. It doesn't mention on the box set that it's uh, Chronicles of the Avatar. So if you scroll down even further to the original release of The Shadow of Kyoshi, it also says Chronicles of the Avatar book two, series Chronicles of the Avatar, and the same for The Rise of Kyoshi. So I was kind of thinking like, I must have just missed this. But then I went back to some of my older videos where I've uh, you know, shown off this page before. And you can see here, here's the paperback release of um, The Rise of Kyoshi uh, from August 30th this year. So it's like four months ago, but still relatively recently. The Rise of Kyoshi, the Kyoshi novels book one series, the Kyoshi novels. So very clearly at some point within the last four months, I don't know when exactly it happened, but I'm pretty sure it's relatively new. They have changed all of the listings for the Kyoshi novels to refer to the series of books that they're a part of as Chronicles of the Avatar, changing it from uh, the Kyoshi novels specifically to just Chronicles of the Avatar, changing it to a more general title. Now, it's not just Edelweiss that's done this. If you look on the website, you can see that the box set is still referred to as the Kyoshi novels, but Chronicles of the Avatar book two and one is what they're calling the hardcover releases. And if you go into it, it still says it right here. Now, it doesn't mention anything about it in the description from what I can tell. So that's another thing that makes me believe it's just a you know, more recent update. But the fact that they've gone as far as to what seems like change the listings on a lot of websites and how they are sort of looked on as no 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 the series has to be referred to as chronicles of the avatar it's not just the kyoshi novels it is pretty interesting given that these books have you know had their run basically sure the paperbacks still need to come out but they're scheduled for like 2024 why change something like this about a series that's you know done the only information we have about the novels continuing is the german publisher of the avatar books uh teasing us or kind of hinting at uh they seem to have some information that suggests another novel is coming at some point this year 2022 um beyond that like it was always from the start said that this was a two book series about kyoshi and it was like we've, we've heard it referred to as a duology they're obviously changing that now to be like it's the first two books are a duology about Kyoshi within an a bigger overall series of books that seem to focus on the Avatar. Now, I don't really have anything else to show you guys in terms of like what Chronicles of the Avatar could mean other than to just speculate that I'm guessing the change from specifically referring to it as the Kyoshi novels to now more generally referring to it as Chronicles of the Avatar probably means we are getting more novels and that they are going to be Chronicles of the Avatar book three, four, going onwards. And they're opening it out so that they can have this sort of marketing thing of saying the Abrams books, novels are all Chronicles of the Avatar. 
they will, over the course of their run, focus on different avatars. So there'll be sort of series within this overall title. Um, and that's probably what they've really needed. Something like that. Like, I think you're seeing that across the franchise with the idea of like Avatar Legends being used, Avatar Studios being used, and now Chronicles of the Avatar as like a general title. Uh, I kind of like that. So, I don't know. I, I tend to look at this as like, it's either a very like unnecessary, almost minor marketing change, just because. But why would you go to so much effort to change it when it, it, it was the Kyoshi novels is what they've used? And um, this probably does mean we're seeing the first stages of them sort of beginning to, I suppose, reveal the next stage of what they're doing with the novels. And um, the fact that we do have a rumor about the next novel is interesting. And this seems to fit now that like, oh, they're not just doing this completely separate thing. They're trying to incorporate them together that I guess the overall idea of the novels is going to just be that, yeah, the novels that are right now are all going to focus on avatars, but maybe different avatars. So we might see the next book be a Roku book, a Karuk book, a Yang Chen book, or maybe even an avatar we know next to nothing about, like um, Salai mentioned in the Kyoshi books, but we know nothing apart from that they were one of the better avatars. Uh, Zito, similarly, like we, we got a general gist of what he did as the avatar, but don't know a lot of specifics. And there's stuff like that that I think kind of works together. Now, the question obviously is, are they going to try it all with the whole Chronicles of Avatar book one, two, maybe three to keep it like in order? So that would suggest that like it has to be an avatar after Kyoshi, so Roku next, maybe? I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that. I, th I say they probably can go wherever they want. Um, but, you know, the fact that the Avatar Legends role-playing game is introducing new Roku information to us suggests to some degree that Avatar Studios is thinking about Roku in a little bit more depth in the similar way to the fact that they were thinking a little bit more in depth about Kyoshi, planning these books out. Um, I, I, I think Roku and just telling some stories about sort of what he did as the Avatar that is not just dealing with the Sozin situation would be very interesting to know given that he is the Avatar in between Kiyoshi and Aang, like two of the more memorable ones. It's, it's almost a situation where Roku gets a little bit forgotten and outstaged by, um, you know, a lot of other avatars, even though Roku is technically sort of like the original past avatar to a degree, because he was the first one that like we got to see because Aang was the first character we, we, we saw as the avatar. And then he got to speak to Roku. So um, I don't know. That's just some speculation. I, I think there's room to do more Kyoshi novels. There's room to do another book about Karuk to finish off his story. You could do stuff about Yang Chen or any other avatar. Wan, I'd love a, I'd love a book about Wan, but uh, we'll, we'll see what exactly they do. I just tend to view this as being like, okay, that is a change that to me reads as you want to at the very least leave the door open to doing more novels so you can, I suppose at some point down the line, release a box set that features the like six seven avatar novels together that cover like four or five avatars um that's what i think they're doing here they're, they're they're trying to make it so that it's a proper series of avatar novels and not just like you know these two books are this these two books are this there's this one book about this instead they're all part of a more anthology title type thing that, that's that's my view on this because like I showed you it's a change that at the very least has happened in the last couple of months uh, that not a lot of people noticed but I'm pretty sure it's more like in the last like week few weeks uh, that this has happened because I think I would have noticed this before but um, either way th that's what it seems like is happening here it's not just Edelweiss it seems to be a bunch of other places that are also referring to it as Chronicles of the Avatar so they're putting in the effort to change it wherever they can hopefully this means we're getting a novel announcement sooner rather than later 
Um, but uh, straight away, I guess, uh, in the comments, what do you guys think about this? Do you think this title change for the series means anything? Do you think it's building up to more novels being announced? Or is it just some marketing thing? Uh, definitely let me know your thoughts on this, on if you think it's big or just a small piece of information, but uh, let me know. I, I definitely want to hear what people have to say about this. Other than that, that has been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.